Hi, I want to talk today about one of my favorite subjects. It's something that really changed my life completely and it's something that I try to apply every, every day of my life. It's called the shadow. This, call, uh, this comes mainly from Carl Jung, although it's, there's been reading it, about it in the Bible, in different places, but he was the really the first guy who coined it as the shadow. What is this about? He discovered after thousands of patients that there are certain aspects that we don't want to accept in ourselves, that we, we don't want to see in ourselves, that we want to feel that that's part of us. So what do we do? We project them onto others. It's what really affects us, not only negative, but also positive of other people. And this mainly comes from a last video I talked about how we create all these limiting beliefs, these fears. When we start creating all these kinds of things that don't, don't help us a lot, the first thing that we start to do since we feel bad about having them, about the guilt and the shame that I talked about, is that we start projecting them. We start putting this onto other people. So. You've probably seen what we normally do is that we point the finger to somebody. We say, that person is very critical. That person is very, uh, I don't know, very impatient or whatever. Look at what we're really doing. We're pointing three fingers towards ourselves. We're saying, I'm three times more than that other person. What I'm criticizing, what I'm judging on the other person. And this is the beautiful part of it because we don't want to recognize it in ourselves. So as soon as we start studying this shadow, we start seeing that everything that other people have, that even objects, situations that affect us, that really gets into us, it's something we need to recognize in ourselves. Obviously the ego comes in and starts saying, I'm not that. Okay, I have three ways of identifying and helping us out, figuring out how we do have it. First, it's something that we have done in our past or something that we can easily do in our future. This has happened a lot for people that, for example, in my case, I used to be a big liar. I have to admit it. I used to lie all the time or almost all the time. It was like a way of, of getting along in life. Today, I've seen a lot of liars, and one of the things that really gets to me is lying. It's like, why do you have to lie? Why do you have to say that? Why can't you be transparent? Initially, I'm projecting onto that person, saying, you're the liar, you're making me feel bad. Not really. It's, I'm seeing myself onto that person, and I'm seeing the liar that I'm still trying to accept in myself that really pisses me off. And that's why I say, you know what? You piss me off. That's not true. Second, it's something I can do to myself. A lot of people come up with this exercise and they start saying, okay, I, I don't like people that are, are very, or criticize a lot of other people. I don't normally don't criticize, or I'm not harsh on other people, especially the harsh part. And I asked them, okay, perfect. When you make a mistake, how do you treat yourself? What do you mean? Yeah, for example, um, you're trying to do a diet, you start uh, and you eat a dessert. How do you feel afterwards? I feel bad. How do you talk to yourself? Pretty harshly. So then you start seeing the shadow in another person. You're trying to project that into another person. For example, lying also. A lot of people say, I hate liars. I never lie to anybody. But how many times have you told yourself, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and do exercise. And the next day, oh my God, it's raining. It's too cold. I don't have any time. What am I doing to myself? I'm lying. Third aspect, what kind of person can do this? I've seen a lot of people, for example, there was once this case that a person came up and said, okay, I have a friend that affects me a lot. She's a person that always has to win the whole time. She has to go to tournaments. 
gain trophies and show everybody that she's the best. I'm not like that. So I asked her, what kind of person needs to show herself to other people? She said, well, mainly a person that has a low self-esteem. Okay, you don't like to show yourself. Why don't you like to show yourself? She said, oh, because I have a low self-esteem. So as you see, this becomes a powerful, very powerful tool for our lives. And why does it, why is it so important? First, normally, although we do know ourselves, we say, I don't know myself completely. There are a lot of things that we don't know. This helps us identify what we're not seeing in our lives. And this also goes towards the positive. As I said, there's a light and dark shadow. I've talk, talked a lot about uh, what we criticize. But for example, there's a light shadow. And I can give you a trick how to identify it even more easily. It's when you envy somebody. Normally when we envy somebody, we start seeing something good that we would like to have on the other person. So we say, we envy the good looks on somebody. We, we envy the success, the luck, all these different things. And that is also something that we don't want to identify in ourselves. We use the three tools that I gave you before as the same way to identify it. So first I get to know myself through the chat. I get to look at everybody around. For example, I, I can tell you, look at the 10 closest people in your life. If you can take more, better. Start identifying them and start seeing in them your shadow. What, what, what really gets to you under your skin about all these people? And that's your shadow. You start identifying in yourself things that you probably never identified. And one of the other aspects that I find very, very, very important for this is forgiveness. When I, I, I have a workshop around forgiveness and I say we pass from forgiveness to appreciation, to gratitude. Why? Because through the shadow, I start seeing that nobody has done anything to me. They're just showing me different aspects of myself that I'm doing unto others. So if I say somebody is treating me bad, if I use the shadow, I start looking at it as a way as, okay, probably that person is really treating me bad, but am I doing it to others? Am I treating myself bad? Am I treating other people bad? If I start identifying this, then I start changing my perception. I start saying, you know what? It's not like I'm gonna be with that person although they're treating me bad, but I start telling internally, thank you, thank you. There's nothing to forgive. I only have to thank you because you're showing something in me to be a better person. You're being my, my mirror. And that's what really makes us grow each and every day. That's what makes us be better people. So today I want you to try this shadow out. Look at the people, especially the closest ones, your partner, your kids, your parents, your siblings, and start seeing in them what's your shadow. And start accepting this with a lot of humbleness. And start from then on, how can I change this in my life? And start thanking other people around you. I wish you a life of love, of happiness, and being yourself.